with uh, healing, with strength, with, uh, with knowledge, with direction, with provision. Hallelujah. And we want that this weekend. We're not here to gather together uh, for the sake of any individual or any man or any agenda. We're here, and that's what we prayed for as a body here in Atlanta area, is that God would lead us. That is our agenda. Amen. That's what we're here. Praise God. So I just want to open up with that thought and, and just let you all know that there was travail. There was a coming before the Lord. And there's an expectation in the hearts of the brethren here in Atlanta that we want to in, encourage you all that, that you receive the same. Because we have an anticipation, an absolute uh, assuredness in our heart that God's going to move this weekend. Hallelujah. So we want to hear from the Lord. So I always... Um, you know, the Lord, I, I, I really was wondering where, where to start with uh, in, in, you know, this evening. And I have no particular word to bring. I hope that God has something more for us than that. But God always, you know, He always says something to me. You can't go wrong if you exalt the name of the Lord. You know, He says, as we lift Him up, all men are drawn to Him. Amen? And so I just want to read a little bit of Psalm 103. Just, it's good to bring the Word of God into the midst, right? Hallelujah. Psalm 103, it says... Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. Can we bless the Lord? Can we tell our souls? Can we command our souls to bless the Lord? Hallelujah. And all that is within, hallelujah, within me. Bless the Lord. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not His benefits. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who heareth, healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Hallelujah. He's redeeming our life. Hallelujah. From very destruction that is all around us. Hallelujah. He is holding us together. Amen. Who crowneth, crown thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who sacrificed his, who sacrificed his mouth with good things so that he, thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord exalteth righteousness and judgment. All that uh, r- the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all those that are oppressed. Hallelujah. He makes known his way unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, gracious and slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Hallelujah. Plenty is in mercy. Brethren, I need mercy. Hallelujah. And I need His grace. And I need His provision. And I need His, 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 his love toward me and His righteousness toward me. Amen? Amen? If I don't come away with anything this weekend other than a refreshing of that, a strengthening of those things, I have, I have succeeded. I have received of the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. He will not always chide. Neither will He keep His anger forever. He hath not dealt with us uh, after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is His mercy toward them that fear Him. Hallelujah. As far as the east is from the west. Amen. So, so, fear, so far hath He removed our transgressions from us. Amen. Like a father pitteth his children, so the Lord uh, pitieth them that fear him, for he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. For a man, for a man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field. So he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall not know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord, is everlasting, and everlasting upon them that fear him. And his righteousness unto the children, unto, their, unto the children's children, to keep such his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments, to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, and excel, and excel his strength that do his commandments, and hearken unto the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all His works in the places of His dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Lord God, we just want to bless Your name right now. We want to exalt Your name right now. We want to lift up the name of Jesus right now. 
We want to lay our cares before You. We want to lay our concerns before You, Lord God. We want to lay uh, the desires of our hearts before You, Lord God. We, Lord God, take all the, the, the tensions and the concerns that we may have brought along with us, that the world has heaped up upon us, Lord God, or the conditions of our life has imparted uh, and, and, and fell upon us during, because of the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Oh, Lord God, we ask You, Father, to bring healing, Lord God, to bring refreshing, Lord God, that we can begin to pray Praise the name of the Lord, that we can begin to say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Hallelujah. That I may bless the Lord, that I may exalt His name, Lord God. We ask You, Father, to come into our midst this weekend, to come into the gathering of Your people, each and every one together. Let the Holy Spirit begin to accelerate through the hearts and minds of each individual, that the souls of of Your people would be quickened and encouraged, Lord God. Let not one be dry, Lord God. Let not one be empty, Lord God, of Your filling. Hallelujah. Yon are all. Oh, hallelujah. Let there be an encouragement. Let there be a strengthening. Oh, Lord God, we want to begin to, to pick ourselves up in your strength, Lord Jesus, and head on up to Zion. To head on up the place of higher thinking, higher seeing, Lord God. Not in a carnality in the world that wants to just take us down and bring us into just bring us into low places, but instead to set our minds on the things that are above. To put our hearts and our thoughts on the things that are in Jesus. Salvation and the mercy of the Lord, the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, that we can head on up the road of Zion. That we might find our place in Zion. That we might receive of the oil, hallelujah, and the wine, and the blood of life. Hallelujah. Lord God, that we can be strengthened this day. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your name today. Bless your name today. For I have a song in my heart today. I have an encouragement in, in my walk. I was in a low place earlier. Oh, Lord God, but you are taking me up. You are lifting me up this evening. You are taking me from the place of the world up into the place of the heavens. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, brethren. Be encouraged in the Lord. Let's encourage the Lord. Let's encourage our own souls. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, today. Thank you for those that have traveled in, that are weary from the traveling, Lord. Those that are in work and that worry from work, Lord God. Those that have the burdens of, of life and the cares, Lord God, that they've been dealing with, that have driven and sacrificed much to be with us, Lord God. Bless each one of them, Lord God. Strengthen each one of their souls, Lord God. Encourage and quicken them up. Stir them up. For that we might be uh, like wings on eagles. Hallelujah. Lift it up in the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father, that you would uh, bless each one here today, this weekend, and, and the days that we're to gather together here, Lord Father. I ask you, Lord God, to scatter the enemy. Amen. To scatter the enemy. Hallelujah. He has no right amongst your people in your gathering. Hallelujah. We pray against any, any, uh, uh, any, uh, anything that wants to get in our way, even like this air-conditioned situation, Lord God, we pray that, that that would be remedied, Lord God. You can do it. Bring that, that need to us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We have an encouragement. We have a steadfastness and hope in you, Lord God, to believe these things. Hallelujah. And meanwhile, let us set our minds on you. Let us set our minds on going up, on going up to a higher place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Bless each one here this weekend. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's take that song if we can. Maybe let's go up to Zion. Would that that'd be okay? Hallelujah. Let's go up to Zion. Hallelujah. Let's go up to Zion. Let's go up to Zion. Let's go up to Zion, the city of our God. Let's sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord God. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Bless you, Lord God. Bless you, Lord God. Yes.
light evening of it. I know it's everybody's tired and it's late and it's warm. So praise God. Well, praise the Lord. Here we are again. How wonderful to be here. And when our brother was sharing about encouragement and exhortation, the Lord had been speaking to my heart about about the same thing at home. And that's one of the reasons I'm here. But he gave me a scripture. It's in Haggai. I'm sorry. I lean to this way. I'm a little unbalanced right now. Okay. Why don't you read it for me? Because sometimes I see double and I don't want to... So do I. Read this to you. Haggai. Haggai 2.7 And I will shake all nations... And the desire of all nations shall come, and I will with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's wonderful. The glory of this house, our house, is going to be greater than the former. Even though everything is going to be shaken and things are hard and we arise to the day we let the day star arise in our heart. Amen. And, and the glory of this latter house Hallelujah. which we are is greater than all the powers of darkness. Amen. I want you to be encouraged young people. We have hope. Our hope is in the Lord. The glory of the Lord is filling His house. And we're believing this week that God's glory is going to fill and come forth. You know, judgment is coming, but not to us. It's coming to the darkness. In the beginning, in the beginning, there was darkness And what did God do? He separated it. And that's what he's doing in us. He's separating the darkness out of us because we have light. If we turned off all these lights and we only had a little light, it would be bright. That lamp back there would show us all the way out of here. So the glory of God that's coming to this latter house which we are. Don't let anybody tell you we're going to be in darkness because in Gosha there was light. When all of Egypt was in darkness, God gave his people light. You know why? Because he is light. Amen. And because he's light, we'll be able to walk through the darkness with light and people will say, where did you get the light? He is. It's all Him. Amen. He is the light. Amen. And so I want to encourage you. If you're walking through darkness, let the light come forth. Because as you let Him come forth, you will see the way to walk. We will put on the arm, whole armor, and He is our rear guard. He's my rear guard. Hallelujah. And so... I know things are hard for a lot of people, but don't look at that. Don't look at the darkness. Look at Him. He is the light. He says, when we see Him, we'll be like Him, for we'll see Him as He is. Does that mean that I'm going to look like Him? No. It's going to mean that He's going to come forth. And when I look into the mirror, I'll see Him. Amen. When I look into you, your face, I see Him the glory of the Lord. So, this latter house is going to be greater because of Him. Amen. He is our. That's who we gather together this weekend. Unto Him is the gathering of the people. His church. His tabernacle. Now, 
I know that most of these, I'm not a teacher teacher, most of these brothers are watchmen on the wall and they can tell you what's coming in the night. But God has called me, especially to call me a mother in Zion. Now I'm a great grandma in Zion. Anyway, all I can see is hope and love and power. God is going to have a church without spot, wrinkle, or anything. We've heard it all our life, but it's coming. It's all really in us as we allow Him, Jesus, to come forth. So mothers and fathers, speak to your children and say, you're living in a great day. A day of the Lord filling his temple with himself. When he came to the temple and he, the glory came, they couldn't even stand because of the glory. Well, get ready. Amen. You will not stand in yourself. But you will stand in Him. It's all in Him. We overcome because He overcame. And He's in us and we're in Him. I know the Word has been given to us as a, a picture, or a drawing of Him. All of it. So we can't just see the darkness. we got to... See the light. Yes, we got a baby back there. That's light. Let me tell you, these little faces are light. That's right. The glory of the Lord. I'm telling you, the glory of the Lord is great. I, I was going to come. Last few times I've kind of exhorted everybody about unbelief and all that. But when I was sitting in the living room, the Lord said, You tell him. Tell them that my glory is filling my temple. Amen. And the world will see it. And they will glorify him. Those that have eyes to see will glorify the Lord. So the glory, so all that you've been through and all that I've been through is for the breaking of the vessels of the glory can come forth that he would be glorified in our midst no longer just playing church or being but being the church and so I wanted to share that when our brother shared about exhorting to, you know he shook himself and he rose up above the darkness that was trying to come over him. How many of you had to do that to even get here? Yeah, hallelujah. But you did it. Amen. Do you know what that means? More glory. Amen. So rejoice. Amen. Don't let the enemy do anything that, because he's such a liar. God is truth. Amen. He is the Word made flesh, filled filled us with his love and power.